Where we begin with our nine overtime game of the week, Colin. Hey, Colin Ski, the Battle of Texas 20, a very literal name for a rivalry. They're on highway, Texas 20, I assume. Two blowout wins <laughs> for Riverside in this season to open the season 2 0. Isleta kind of snuck by with two one point wins to start the season, but the Indians. Uh, would get going early. Damien Contreras up top to Andres Martinez. Ed, the Indians trying to pull the upset. Yeah, Damien Contreras uh, lightening up this season uh, through the first three weeks. 600 yards passing, six touchdowns, showed up to this game. And then it's Speedy Munoz going up top, and it's Jose Guardado for the touchdown. Jason, we were talking about running backs. Guardado, he can also catch the football, apparently, right? Absolutely, but you know what? This young man last week, uh, big time game for him. Six carries, 260 yards. That man can make some plays. That was Riverside's Rudy Valenzuela stripping the Isleta ball right there and taking it back to the touchdown. Might see that later on in the show as our play of the week. But Javier De La Rosa back from injury the other way for Isleta. The rushing touchdown to tie it up at 14. Riverside would lead 22-21 at the break, though. And then it's uh, Valenzuela had the defensive touchdown. Now he's going in for the touchdown here. Ed, we talked about depth. Riverside, they got some guys. It's not just Speedy Munoz and uh, Jose Guardado. Gary Reporter has a Riverside Nation dialed in. Lock the gates at the reservation, baby. That was Munoz again with the touchdown pass to Frank Luna. Riverside goes on to get this one. 52-27 is your final. What a game. And nine overtimes. Stephanie Shields is live with our coaches spotlights in this one. Stephanie, a big win for this team tonight and uh, really one that they felt like they had to have, the Rangers. That's right, Andy. Now, this was definitely a game to watch, definitely a battle here in the lower valley. But Riverside takes home the trophy in this one. And here with me, I have Riverside head coach Gary Recorder to talk about this. Now, coach, what does this mean tonight? You guys were going in neck and neck in the first half, but coming out, obviously, very different story. How did you guys get that win? You know what? Uh, did they play? We wanted to establish the run game at the beginning of the game, and they did some stuff to us that didn't allow us to run the game, to run the ball. And we made some minor adjustments at halftime, and it worked for us. Our defense played lights out. We got some key stops, and there was no turning back from there. And, you know, talking with you right now, this is the first win Riverside has over Isleta in, uh, since, like, 2012, correct? Ouch. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. But how does it you feel know, coming out? We're not talking about, we're not talking about old times, past times, nothing like that. We're talking about tonight. I'm just happy for these boys. I'm happy to be the head football coach of Riverside, and I'm happy to be um, uh, the head coach for them. And uh, they really, really balled out, and they played really hard. I'm happy for our community. I'm happy for our school, our administration. Ms. Guillen, she does a phenomenal job with our kids. Uh, it's just a big, it's a big win for for everybody. I, I don't even think the boys know how big this win is. It's a very big win. I'm, I'm very, very happy for them. And then how proud are you of their performance tonight? You know, we saw some big stuff from Angel Munoz, Jose Guardado. What do you think about their performance? You know what? They played really well. They played really well, but if, if there's something I can take from tonight, we played well as a team. Our defense played really well, and our offense played really well as a team. I'm happy for all the boys. All right. And real quick, uh, uh, you know, what do you need to build on for next week against Horizon? Horizon's a good football team, and uh, we're definitely going to be ready. So we're definitely going to lock the gates. All right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. Thank, Thank you, you. Congrats on the win. Thank you. All right, Andy. Well, there you have it. That's our game of the week. Riverside takes home this battle of the Lower Valley. I'll set things back to you right now in the studio. Thank you, Stephanie, and congratulations to Coach Recoder and the Riverside Rangers. A big win to start their season 3-0, guys. The Rangers are 3-0. That wasn't only the only big game coming into the night. Across the uh, land of enchantment,